It was a small engineering firm. We had no canteen. So we used to go up to a little hut that was about a quarter of a mile away where they you cook sausages and, and stuff, mainly sausages. Um, and um, as we were walking back from there, having now half hour break, um, the bombing road, we suddenly heard the sirens and as soon as the sirens and they started the bombing, they were already overhead. And they started to bomb the roads that we were walking down and they took the high street right the way through the centre of the high street, bombing. And one of the bombs landed, because we could hear the whistling all down, so we had a fair warning to lay low. And um, one fell in the road, right between, the, right in the middle of uh, where we were laying on the pavement, to other buildings, shops, that sort of thing, the other side. And we were just buried in the rubble which uh, was not a very nice feeling. So, um, the, uh, another thing that happened as well, of course, unfortunately, the um, place we'd just been to, to have our lunch, that was blown off the face of the earth because it was, it was high, it took the full, because that's where they dropped the bombs down to. So we, there was nothing left on that ground at all. So we lost the sausage, Baker and the Scottish cook, and, <laughs> and the, the place to go. Four of us coming down the road. One was blown through one of the shops, didn't survive. The other one fell on his face and was okay. Um, he was a bit further away, therefore he wasn't buried in rubble. But the chap here that um, uh, I was with, he fell down, I fell on the top of him. So I shielded him a bit. At least he wasn't battered and bruised the same as I was on the back of the head and middle of the back. But, um, the bricks were, or well, debris was pretty heavy, but we were able to get ourselves out. So we were fortunate there. But our eyes were full of grit. And uh, the chappy I was with was crying very heavily, which was understandable, it was very frightening. And uh, that washed his eyes out. He was very fortunate. I didn't. I had to go to the hospital and have my eyes washed.